developed in the car is really business known as the Korean curve. It's a reaction to the comparatively rapid progress that Hyundai and Kia have made in evolving their lineups from a collection of truly awful little cars into ranges of products that can compete with the best in the business. This transformation is undeniably impressive. The problem comes when reviewers, rather than pitching it straight over the plate and evaluating the merits of these new models, or the lack thereof, praise them as excellent Korean cars. Such curveballs presume that Hyundai's and Kia's are inherently inferior to products from other manufacturers, which is as unfair as it is untrue. It's the automotive equivalent of saying, you throw well for a girl. Let's just retire this stereotype now, with Hyundai Motor Company launching its Genesis luxury brand, there can be no better time. We can start by considering the new Hyundai Elantra Sport in the context of class-leading compacts such as the Mazda 3 and the Volkswagen Golf. Those are our two favorites, each having won multiple 10 Best Cars awards in their current generations. In marked contrast, the Sport is the third new Elantra model to be introduced in the past year, coming after the standard 2.0-liter version and the fuel-sipping Echo model. Like the other new Elantras, the Sport is available only as a sedan. It starts at $22,485 with a 6-speed manual transmission, add $1,100 for the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic.